cells in your ears They make you get up and dance They make you get up Mine's quite simply the very opening of this song is just perfection the way it starts. Back then it was beautiful, and now it's even better because it's it adds the nostalgia to it now as well when I hear it. Like it just puts me into sing along mode straight away. And I think yeah. that and the start of the strings on that Glastonbury, because the reason we played the whole thing is because we were like, okay, the first 30 seconds are great because you hear the strings coming in and all that. And then we, but then we were oh, on the bit when Helders comes in because that's great. So we just thought, fuck it, we'll just play the whole thing. <laughs> if the BBC come for us, we'll deal with it then. But um, it's, yeah, this one just, the start of it just gets me going straight away. Just that um, when you hear it, it's just you're there, you're ready to sing, you're primed. So have a good sing along straight away. It's, it's, it's one of them where you, you know within a second. What, I think even if, even if you just know the song and you're not a massive Arctic Monkey super fan. I think you know yeah. in the first like second or two, you're like, oh, it's, it's that one. I'm ready. Yeah, it's a big song for the casual fans, isn't it? Obviously, as well. Mm-hmm. So it's one of them, isn't it? Like, a lot of these ones are. But this one in particular, there's not even, like, very few people that wouldn't know the words to this, I think. Unless you, like, completely don't like this kind of music and you're just not with it. Um, actually, I just got <laughs> I just got a text off someone saying, <laughs> tell you what I saw before, which I've forgotten about, Gary Barlow's crooner sessions on Zoom in lockdown possibly the worst thing i've ever seen <laughs> in his little turtleneck <laughs> yeah i forgot about that as well. the worst things out there <laughs> check it out people keep that in um but yeah no what, what's your what's your favorite musical moment of this one my mine is the solo the guitar solo mm. i like it Sim- simple yeah the two effective. aren't they fits perfectly yeah, yeah. They're the two. I mean, it, the two it was between that and the bit where it's the bit where it speeds up and the, the anger kind of escalates. But yeah, I, I had to go for the solo because it's just so warm and lovely. I tell you what, I was surprised by when I was um, doing the information for this is is that because obviously we got the cover, the good cover by Mahalia, and there was a couple of other less known people as well. She's not greatly known, but she's you know got a couple of albums out on that. I was surprised though when I was like, "There's going to be like a big cover of this that I don't know about by someone." Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, like Miley Cyrus did Why Join the Comedy When You Hire Some. And I know they weren't global yet at this point, but I still thought there'd be some cover of it somewhere. Yeah. But there just weren't. There's not a lot of... Do you think that's a bit intimidating to do it because of how how Alex sings it and how it is? But but this is one that could easily be formatted as Mahalia did, like into a different style, couldn't it? Because of the melody. I so did I was notice just got- that Mahalia still said rate hard as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She still said, said, said that, which doesn't sound right coming from someone no. at the same time. It's like, well, you've got to be faithful, aren't you? East London, yeah. Faithful. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, it's, it's two ways of looking at it, isn't it? If you said right, we'd be, we'd be annoyed. So, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. can't win. She can't win. She can't do right for doing wrong, <laughs> as we'd say up here. <laughs> as Alex might have, might say. 